Hello there world, Bettina Carey here, and I'm the founder and CEO of We Empower You, the global community, and WeEmpowerYourLife.com, the website. And today is launch day for the go-to community, We Empower You podcast. It's our very first episode here, and with me today is going to be Diane Beal, and I'll be interviewing her a little bit about her business and what she's launching here with us today. So are you overwhelmed, overworked, or overcommitted? I know I have been. Stay tuned because right now you're going to learn more on how to transform from a human doing to a human being with Diane Beal. Come to the stage. It's so great to have you here. I, I will say that you're a mentor. You're a woman of 50 plus as well, that you're out to transform yesterday's commitments to today's possibilities and then launch into a new area of life, uh, living your, the life that you love, and pretty much at any age, right? No matter what challenges life presents. So welcome, Diane, to the stage. Thanks for having me again. It's my pleasure to be here. Absolutely. And with this conversation about overdoing and overwhelm, You've come to today to go to market and go to this community with a message about something that you're doing that's so interesting. And uh, how, how did you first get into being involved with uh, women over 50? I mean, it's, it could be obvious because you're a woman over 50, but you know, <laughs> I work with younger people and I'm, I don't stick with my own age group. How about you? Well, actually, I've been working with women for a number of years. Uh, when I first left my corporate position uh, to come home to take care of my husband, who was at the time quite ill, I needed a way to stay connected because I no longer had my uh, corporate community and I was isolated at home. So I decided to start a woman's group. And I was at the hair salon. I mentioned to my stylist that I wanted to do this. And she said, I'm in. And there were some other women there. They said, I'm in. So we started with 12 women. And we met monthly at the library. Um, and we started, I was honing the uh, well, manifesto process that, that I'm now um, launching. But it was a way for me to build community and also to make a difference in the lives of these women. We met over the course of four years. We still are in touch. And the group grew from 12 to 400 women. Wow. And so this is a labor of love to say the least. You're living a life on purpose, which I'm a very big champion of. <clears throat> what is the offer that you have that you're making right today? What is it that you're doing that everybody's gonna wanna sign up for? It is an opportunity for a, a sample of my One Manifesto boot camp on Saturday, May the 21st at noon Eastern time. I will be launching the uh, boot camp. It's absolutely free. All it requires is registering at a link that we'll post in the, uh, the chat. And not only do you get access to my uh, will manifesto boot camp, but you also have the opportunity to participate in 23 other free gifts. There are a number of us who are pooling our resources, and as we each share, as it says, uh, a rising tide lifts all boats. So, not only I, whether or not you choose the VIP day that I'm offering for women 50 plus, but there are so, in fact, I've registered for a number of the other gifts that are available. That's great. And so we can also talk a little bit about the three mistakes that you find that women are making. And so give us, a, start with number one. <laughs> well, I call it desire dementia. And another way of putting, of saying that is that we are not aligned with who we are. When we were in our 20s, we thought we had everything all figured out. And by the time we're 30, we're thinking, well, maybe there's a few things I don't understand. When we're 40, we're thinking, well, maybe I should rethink some things. But when we get to be 50, we are at a new age and stage of life that's full of possibilities for us. We have fulfilled many of our roles and we're ready to say, this is my time. 
And the reason that I want to focus on women 50 plus is so that gives us a chance to align who we are, what is our expertise, um, what are our talents, what are our gifts, what are our passions, how can we take a look at those and say, what do I want to do next? So the first step, of course, is to align ourselves. Then we want to uh, define what do I really want out of life at this stage? Maybe there's an unlived life that we want to live that we've not been able to because of conditions and circumstances and responsibilities. But now we can actually create the kind of life we want to live. And then the third step is to actually design it. And the other, uh, the fourth option, of course, is to refine it. This is a blueprint, a roadmap for life so that one is not locked into what we end up right now because circumstances change. There are opportunities that come along that we might want to uh, accept and others that we might want to change. But no matter what situation we're in, what curves life may throw us, we are able to adapt. And we're going to use a tool, a very simple tool called a mind map. And it is, we'll create the mind map at the uh, boot camp. And it's something that each participant can take with them, modify uh, as needed throughout life without having to come back to me. It's a wonderful tool. Whenever I find myself feeling overwhelmed or overworked or distracted, I go back to my will manifesto and I say, you know, where am I spending energy? Uh, where am I? Um, not investing wisely. How does this align with who I say I am and what I really want to do? And that's an instant way for me to uh, self-correct. I call it a roadmap for life. And we can always adjust it. That's the beauty of it. Yeah. So when you don't have a manifesto, that's one of the three mistakes you can be making, right? <laughs> Absolutely. The first one is not being sure of who we are, you know, our, not our identity, who am I now? The other mistake is that we don't really know what we want. And the third one is not having a will manifesto. There you go. So we're going to open it up for questions uh, real quick. So our live audience here can go ahead and ask away. I'm going to put us on gallery mode. And thank you so much, Diane for joining us here today with your offer. We will be posting this offer in the actual um, chat. And if you're on Facebook, we'll put it on as a comment. And uh, I'll go. All right, anybody have any questions? Go ahead and unmute and ask away. I do. Yes. Okay. I wanted to find out, Diane, who's the oldest uh, client you had. I'm 81 and I feel and act 50, but how old is the oldest person that's been? With oh, your thank you for asking that question. I was just talking with my oldest client two days ago. Her name is Paula Harris and she's 89 years old. Oh, wow. And she is excited about this boot camp that, uh, that we're going to be doing. She was, the, she was an original member of the group, the, the 12 that I mentioned. And she was originally my next door neighbor. She now lives with one of her children. Um, but she was so excited to be introduced to, as she said, much younger women, but they were so empowering for her that she says, I want to participate in this new one. And she's, she'll be 90 in August. <laughs> oh, that is so fantastic. All right. Uh, with Mia, you had your hand. I'm not sure the order of folks joining in the questions, but... Mia, go for it. I think Susie was before me. Susie, do you want to go first? Oh, there you go. I don't care. <laughs> go <you>. <laughs> okay. Well, my question is, maybe I missed it, um, uh, Diane, but is this, a, 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 are people doing this via Zoom or is, yes. are people coming? It's, it's so, via Zoom and we'll do it as a workshop. 
Um, what we'll do first is um, have what we're calling a mentoring session where I'll talk about those three stages that we just mentioned. And then we'll have a working session where we'll actually, I have some uh, people can make choices about which exercises they want to participate in. If, for example, you're trying to figure out, uh, well, who am I now? One of the exercises that is available is, well, right a letter to your younger self. What advice would you give to your younger self? There are a number of options that people can choose. So everyone will leave the boot camp with their own customized roadmap. I okay. love that idea. So what day is it? What's the date? Saturday, May the 21st. And it begins at noon. And it goes through until five, but it's not, it's not all in, it's not intense. We'll do a mentoring session, then we'll uh, have a working session. We'll have a lot of interaction because one of the things that's important to me is that this be a community. Did I answer your question? All your questions? Yes, you did. Okay. So that's noon to two o'clock then for, excuse me, that's nine to two o'clock in Seattle? Uh, yes. Okay. <laughs> depending on where you come from, right? We have to always confirm. <laughs> All right, Mia, take it away. Oh, okay, I was going to ask you, without naming any names, what is your favorite transformation story from someone who's taking your class? Nice question. Um, I had a client who was a medical doctor and she worked with her husband. And they had a very long and contentious divorce. And she was just filled with rage and uh, holding on to that pain story. And as we worked through the process, she was able to recognize that even though it was a terrible experience, it was also a very liberating experience. It was one of the best things that ever happened to her because she was able then to say, well, who do I really want to be in this chapter of my life? How am I going to apply what I learned from that very painful existence and reinvent myself? Mm -hmm. And she ended up going into a totally different line of, of work and, and she, um, is very happy with what she's doing now. So, and, and again, over we've remained uh, in touch. She lives in California. So we still remain in touch to this day. That's a great story. How you can take what seems the worst of times and turn it into the best of times, right? And that's one of the premises of uh, this program, because as I said earlier, I honed this while I was in a dark night of the soul. It was the way in which I learned to, uh, it's, I think it's Michael Beckwith who says, the pain pushes until the vision pulls. And the pain pushed me to this vision and it has made all the difference for me. So the premise for this program uh, is that life sends us all kinds of challenges that we may not welcome. But as we learn to welcome them, they then become opportunities for a future and for potential that we didn't even know we had. And I'm living that reality. I love it. I love it. So we're here coming to the community. This is go to community marketing, not go to marketing, but go to community. Spread the word. Tell everyone, you know, click on the link when we pop it in the chat and or in the comment section. And let's help Diane get hundreds of clicks and many, many people joining her at her program. Thank you so much for joining us here today, Diane. It's been great to have you. Well, thank you for this opportunity. I'm eternally grateful. <laughs> and Are one you... thing I will mention, I sent out a notification just hours ago that I would be doing this. This change just, it's been brewing in my head and then I just pulled the trigger. And within um, moments, I got a response back from Diane and she was ready, willing and available right away to step into this. And then Michaela also decided to jump in. So we have time to go ahead and introduce Michaela as well. So let me bring up her uh, uh, screenshot as well. I mean, 
our very, very own. <laughs> Here she is, okay? Now, to introduce her more formally, as according to the US Bureau of Labor Statistics, 4 million Americans quit their jobs in July of 2021. A great portion of these people are women. Our next guest, Michaela Passeri, helps transform purpose-driven entrepreneurial women from stuck, stagnant, and unfulfilled to happy, liberated, hopeful, and healed. Michaela is an award-winning emotional intelligence and business performance coach, international speaker, author, and founder of the Love You Revolution Emotional and Business Mastery Training Program, along with a 20-year uh, career of building six and seven figure businesses, Michaela puts her business degree and many certifications to use by turning her attention to helping entrepreneurs achieve high performance results. Welcome, 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 Michaela. Great to have you Thank here. Thank you. Thanks. So a lot of, of spontaneity and the yes, exactly. That's that. how things are created, right out of out of nowhere. Yep. <laughs> so you know, these workers are exiting stage left. They're leaving, and you know, they've hit a breaking point mentally, physically, after months and months of this pandemic, and they are tired of working from home, and they're ready for something new. This this massive resignation has opened up the door and opened up opportunities for you to coach and train folks and what you do. So tell us a little bit about how you got into doing the work that you do around emotional intelligence and entrepreneurship. Well, I don't think we have enough time for me to tell the <laughs> whole story, but, um, you know, it, it was my own journey. It was my own evolutionary journey that stemmed from a desire to really understand myself at a deeper level and understand why I was repeating certain patterns in my life that weren't serving me and were making me feel unhappy, less than, uh, sad, you know, upset, angry, whatever, right? The, the, the emotion that I wasn't happy with. And so I set myself on this journey of really uncovering and discovering the my emotionality and how that was connected to what I was seeing in my life and so I did a lot of transformational trainings read a lot of books and what I came to understand was kind of twofold there was the you know the inner workings of the human being on one side and then the outer workings of the uh, universe on the other side <clears throat> or outside, so to speak. And so what I came to understand was that, you know, my, my what I was seeing out in my life was a reflection of my inside, what I was, how I was feeling on the inside. And I didn't like what I was seeing in my reality, in my world. I wasn't happy with it. And so I went on this journey of self-introspection, self-discovery to really release and dissolve all of the uh, limiting beliefs, the stagnant conversations, the, uh, you know, maybe conversations that just weren't in alignment with what I wanted to create. And so, you know, I discovered a modality called emotion code and uh, it was amazing ever since I just, as a patient and as a, uh, as a client, I found huge release and a huge disconnection from my past conditioning, my past negative emotional experiences that unbeknownst to me were still triggering me. You know, it was the subconscious river that was guiding me not in the direction that I wanted. And so once I was able to really have this big opening, this huge weight being lifted off my shoulder, I call it like the little black cloud that followed me for a long time I was able to dissipate the black cloud and and only see sun um, that's when uh, I started basically I chose to do the work because if I could get to where I got to and see the the sun in my life every single day then other people can too and if I uh, could feel what I felt I would want that for everybody else and so that was my commitment when I chose to then become a coach and use this specific modality and really support people in, um, in having 
the breakthroughs and having the opening and really the evolution to more, more of life, more of everything, more abundance, more income, more opportunity, more love, more intimacy, more connections, all of that. And so that's kind of the a, a very short version of the story. <laughs> There's always a lot more under that. More, 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 more. I love that. More of everything, you know, and more I agree everything. that you can have more of everything when you actually have that emotional intelligence and you're in control of your life, right? Yeah. So um, we're going to also be welcome. Yeah, emotional Diane. intelligence is really understanding how to manage yourself, right? So yeah, it's EQ, otherwise known as EQ, you know, it's, it's really learning how to listen to and notice the uh red lights that the, your body, your emotions, your heart, your mind is giving you and follow it through, seek it through, uh, and then be able to manage yourself on the path. Yes. So I love that you can emotional rethink. intelligence is really, uh, that. I love that you can rethink your way to a whole new way of living and a whole new life. I 100% believe you know, that we can be our own worst jailers just by what we have going on in between our two ears here. So you and Diane are going to be also speaking at the We Empower You Global Virtual Summit. I can't wait to have you there as well. You'll be uh, logging in from Italy, I believe, right? Yes. <laughs> It'll be great to have you. Let me go ahead and open it up to questions. Uh, we'll pull the gallery in and you can either raise your hand or open up your mic. There's Mia, first up at bat. <laughs> Love just to give an, an endorsement for what she does because yeah. I had one of her sessions and it's really beautiful work. She has a very unique way of doing it. And I think we all have things that maybe are hurts from our past that we don't even know may still be in there in some way. Yeah. holding us back and she's just really amazingly talented at you oh, know you. you know pinpointing what it is and then helping you to rewrite that story so you can release it and let it go and um you know just in a small way I helped a friend do that the other day and it wasn't anything like what, what she does but it was the girl was saying I hope I can do this and I said let's rephrase that how about I am statements you know let's use an I am and so I remember saying it three times and just the smile on her face, you could already see it was already changing. Something was percolating. So if you've not yet <laughs> session with her, make sure you do that because she's incredibly talented and I'm sure there's more, right? I'm sure there's more inside that we can never be healed of every little hurt yeah. that got us, but she's going to find those things that are top of mind or maybe top of body. <laughs> yes. For sure, no. for sure. Thank you so much. Thank Mia, you so much, Mia. That. Oh my gosh. I mean, I also belong to Global Woman, which is run locally here in LA by Micaela. And many, many women like Mia are complimenting um, Micaela for the work that she does. So what is your go-to-market solution that you are here to talk about? Actually, go-to-community solution that you have. Um, well, I have, because this is, is a very deep work and it's very unique with every individual, I have an intro offer that I always um, allow people to take me up on if they are so uh, moved and called and curious about this work. And um, it is what I call my uh, emotional vibration and emotional intelligence test. So you can take the, you're going to take a test where uh, we're gonna find out if you're low, moderate or high EQ. With that, we're also doing, you, you get a, a one hour session with me where we're actually going to go uh, into your subconscious mind and pinpoint the uh, up to three trapped emotions that might be stuck in the subconscious that are hindering you, stopping you, preventing you from going to the next level, from getting to that result, from feeling a certain way, uh, from breaking through whatever it is that's in front of you. And with those uh, releases, we're also going to create up to three power affirmations, which is what Mia was talking about, which is the reframing of the inner conversation that we've been having with ourselves, mm -hmm. that unbeknownst to ourselves is it's like a tape that's been running 
in the background and we don't know kind of like when you have a computer and you've got a lot of things and some things are running in the background and you don't even know that it's running right so that's kind of a, the metaphor and uh, and so we want to reframe them we want to create new neural pathways so that then you can take the power affirmation into your life and actually use it as an active tool so it is not a theoretical session it is an actual working session and we get to find out a little, little bit of what might be you know in your way and uh, it's an offer that I uh, make very available to people. It's not that expensive. And if you go to themoneybreakthrough.com forward slash EQ test, you will be able to find it there and uh, join me on it. I'd love to support anybody uh, who is curious about doing this work. So thank you so much. Fantastic. I love the idea that you're doing something that everybody can jump into, not a high ticket, but something that is affordable and resourceful. You both are doing really great work and I can't wait to have you back at the summit. The next summit is coming up on June the 8th. I am gonna keep this uh, open and now turn our attention to all of the you who've shown up here. This is a go-to community environment. So whatever you have that you'd like this community to grow to know about you, it's your opportunity right now to speak out into this. We always talk about, you know, your voice being your money maker. So here's where you're going to make some money. <laughs> so Mia, I know you're going to be talking uh, to us soon. I can't remember, was it the 11th or 18th? Coming up. Yeah, I can look yeah, at that. So uh, what do you got going on that you want to talk about? So I'm very excited to share that I have transitioned and retired from a 30 year career as COO, Chief Operating Officer in a medical laboratory. And I'm switching from helping people with needs and services in the healthcare field. So we, our laboratory was offering tests for patients with their cancer and their diabetes and their hormone replacement therapy and whatnot. So now, Rather than offering that kind of a product, I am transitioning to wealth consulting and I do marketing consulting at conferences and I also work with small businesses, entrepreneurs, solopreneurs, as well as families in trying to help them to discover ways that they can protect their wealth, that they can create generational legacies with their wealth. And in the case of businesses specifically, there are a few things that are legal things like buy-sell agreements, um, things that help companies keep going from one generation to the next, that what we do is provide products that help them to be able to provide that transfer of wealth without any money out of their own pocket. So these are very you know, specific niche things for small businesses that um, maybe have two people, maybe they have two owners together in the business, but they want to set something up as like a safety net for them should some life events happen. And these are these are just incredible, incredible products that are not expensive, but they can help you personally and professionally. And my phone number is there in the Zoom. I'm not sure if the Facebook group can see it. So uh, I hope they can. I'll but save the chat, everybody save the chat and we'll make sure to put it in the in the comments on Facebook. Okay. Yeah, just reach out to me if you are curious about what I'm talking about, if you have your own business or Maybe you're not sure exactly how this can help your life financially and protect your family. If you have any questions, just send me a text. I'd love to talk with you. Thanks, Bettina. Okay, great. And uh, next up, let's go with Moria Vestin. Moria also speaks at the summit and uh, take, take it away. <laughs> okay, what, what specific do you want me to say, talk about? Uh, what if you have an offer, I know you've got two books, you're a published author and speaker, and you can talk about how folks can get a hold of your book, books, I should say. Yes, yes, they can go to uh, moriaveston.com, and in, in that website, I've also got pleasuresandponderings.com, which is the title of my book, and they can read about it. Uh, I've also got a blog, it's kind of behind right now, I'm catching up slowly, but uh, I often send things that I've written or thought about onto Facebook too. And, and I find that a, a great place to communicate with other people and so forth. So I, I love talking to people. I'd offer a complimentary coaching session any day to anybody because I love to make a difference for people. 
so that would be a half hour or up to an hour and so forth and go from there. Thank you so much, Maria. Drop your information in the chat there. Indeed. And Rosie, Rosie Lynch, what do you well, got going on that you want uh, this community to know about? Well, um, we've got essential oils. If anybody's interested, um, we're gonna, I'm going to be scheduling a class here soon. And maybe the next time when I talk, I'll have it set up. Oh, fantastic. If anybody's interested in learning about the essential oils. And you're uh, working with doTERRA essential oils, which are yes. like the best yes. in the world. Oh, yeah. Old class, right? Yeah, absolutely. No chump change here. No. <laughs> Thank you, Rosie. Thanks, I see, I see that uh, Troy and uh, Rita are here. Uh, Troy, since you came a little earlier, I'll have you go first and then Rita follow. Okay, hello, everyone. Uh, Troy Thompson. And so one of the things that I do is work with business owners to make them more profitable through the, the big three, let's say, which is reducing taxes, reducing expenses, and reducing risk. So my offer would be, or is meeting with the business owner and doing a questionnaire. It starts with fact finding, it starts with discovery, and depending on you know, the income and how much tax they're paying and what do they have real estate. So then depending on the business owner situation, then there's a prioritizing of, well, there are different strategies that can be implemented. And then there's a prioritizing of all that based on what's important to that business owner. Uh, it could be estate and succession planning related. It could be tax related, it could be risk related. So uh, I provide a complimentary uh, session to do that questionnaire and, and show what would be uh, available. And then through me, I have access to a, a team of experts, a virtual family office is what it's called. And I connect the business owner and, and I walk them through the process. So I'm not just handing them off. It's a collaborative effort. And so I connect them with that expert to get further information and implement the strategy if, if that's what they choose to do. Fantastic. Always happy to have you, Troy. You've got near, like a 95% attendance record, I believe. <laughs> uh, next up, we have Rita Bacuzzi out of California as well, and another Global Woman member. Yes. Hi, everyone. I'm Rita Bacuzzi. I'm also known as Mama Rita Money. And what I love doing is helping people to make sense of their finances, create safety around their money, Maybe rescue your 401, old 401ks or IRAs from the market uh, and help you flourish, you know, and reach your dreams and goals, as well as like what Mia was talking about. I love living benefits uh, and I'm going to speak to that, speak to her about it, speak to me about it, uh, because I'm a cancer survivor and I know what it means to get what I call financial cancer. When you have one of those medical life events, how do you protect your assets, right? You and your retirement and all the assets around. So it's really not a lack of money problem in our nation right now. It's a lack of money problem. And so I have a money, my offer is I have a money empowerment education course. Uh, there's one coming up starting June 1st. It's four sessions uh, on Wednesday nights. And for this group only, I will give a 75% discounted rate wow. uh, of 70, 797. And that is actually going to expire uh, next, I think it's Tuesday, no, next Thursday, May 12th. And I think it makes an amazing graduation gift. Can you imagine? Or graduation gift, graduation gift for ourselves if we haven't had a money education. So that this way we can learn about money, we can level everybody up maybe give it as a grad gift for a student or two or share that information so that we can level up and flourish together. I love it. Thank you so much. And you just Thanks. got back from Hawaii. Yes, from beautiful Maui. <laughs> that was your, your big gift to yourselves, right? You and your husband. It was actually not me and my husband. It was oh, me and mama that's right. <laughs> who wanted to go. And, uh, and enjoy time because she's 80 and she's never been and it's a dream oh. trip for her. So it's wonderful to have her and to have her be able to go and just really have magical days every single day. Yeah, it was a blessing. Lovely, lovely. 
So now we have one of our Just Say Yes members to follow up is Susie. And she went off camera there just as I was going to introduce her. So hopefully she's hearing me. There you go. <laughs> go yeah. ahead and unmute. Yep, I was, I was taking all the information from the chat and putting it somewhere safe. So I have it. Yes, go ahead. I actually have a question. A bit. Well, wait, I have a question for Rosie. Can I ask her a question? Oh, totally. Rosie. What if you have zero money education? Are you asking oh, is Rosie, your class? Or Rosie or Rita? Oh, I'm sorry. Rita, probably. Oh, well. Probably Rita. Okay, you just talked. I'm sorry. Because the last person wrote something. Okay, sorry. Rita. Yes. 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 Rita. If you have zero money education, is this a good class to take? Absolutely. Or do you have or do you have a class for those that are beginners? Like I know no, that's said, what this is about. <laughs> that's what that's about. Making sure that is what it's about. Okay, what if they have no money common sense? <laughs> the, the, <laughs> so the cool thing about my money education is it's holistic and it starts with mindset. And that's why it's a money empowerment education. Because if we don't have our core values, our belief system right, and we don't talk about that at the front end, I could give you the tool belt and the principles and the products, but how are you going to be able to engage? So actually that first part, which is about the first, it's usually my first session. Everybody has one to three breakthroughs right in that so that they open up their mindset worthy of receiving, believing it's possible for them, those kinds of things. And if they don't have common sense, they'll know it after that. <laughs> and it just might not be for them. And that's okay. You know, we have a guarantee if they, if they don't like it, then they'll get the right. It's like so a muscle, right? You got to strengthen the muscle flexible. and it right. takes time to, to do that. But uh, hopefully you guys can talk. Uh, yeah, we can I, talk and I, I have two more things. And this is for Troy and you, Rita. Because okay. we both work with business and money. Uh -huh. So what if you have a person that's great with ideas, like really fabulous with ideas, big picture person, can see the vision, know, knows what they want, but they can't manifest. Because there's missing pieces of the money part. That's like why they don't know how to budget. Yeah. They don't budget, you know. So, cause I know, cause you have a system and Troy has a system. So I'd like to hear from both of you, if you don't mind. Okay. Super succinctly, it really, I connect people to their core values, which is that inner connection. I connect them to their belief system, the stories that they learned from when they were eight years old, right? And help them to overcome those stories, make better connections, create a new belief system, create a financial positioning criteria, which is understanding the questions that they get to ask themselves as well as others, create a system of mind mapping so that they don't feel like they've missed any of the pieces. So basically it's creating this bridge and then getting to the basics, income expense budget, positioning the words of how they use that around them, and then get into the principles and practices and what types of products and people are out there to help them. So but very holistic. Learning. Awesome. Okay, Troy, what about you? Yeah, would you say your question again for me, please? Like what are you, if you have a person that knows how to like really, really great with visions, uh, you know, visionary, they know what they wanna do, but they don't know how to manifest it. So they're coming to you with uh, how to actually build a business. They don't have a budget. Are you, are you beyond that? When somebody comes to you, they have a budget. Well, I mean, I need to know where you are on the spectrum of who comes to you. Okay. Who comes to me already has a business and mm -hmm. I'm helping to improve what they already have going. Um, so that's more my area. Someone uh, who like has an idea. Um, I, yeah, there's a different person I know for kind of the implementing vision, implementing strategy, hiring the people that can help manifest it into reality. So I think of Steve Jobs as an example, right? So he, he had a vision. He says, okay, I want to have a thousand songs in my hand. 
he didn't know how to do that, but he went out and got the who's, the engineers and those people, and they figured it out. So I'm not sure I'm answering your question, uh, but that's my answer. I'll send it back to you to see if that was good enough, uh, Susie. I, I get you're like the you, so you have you you take next level people like they have a they have a business and they want to go to the next level. Yeah. So that's they already got something going. And I I you, show you them ways to, the to make it more profitable, more efficient. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. All right. Thank you. Just wanted I wanted clarification because you both have awesome things to offer. But I just needed to know like where how you fit mm -hmm. in the picture of you know, the process of things. All right, thank you. Fabulous. Thank you, thank yes, you. Yes, and oftentimes, Susie, what I've discovered is it all starts with emotional intelligence, right? So whether you're talking to, you know, uh, Michaela or Rita or anyone who deals within that emotional intelligence world, a, a lot of it has to do with our money belief system. And the manifesting comes much easier once you've broken through, I call it shattering the glass ceiling in the head, you know, like, uh, so that's another thing. Keep up with Rita, Michaela, and Mia also is another money lady. Um, with that said, go ahead and uh, do a quick introduction. I'm going to then uh, pass the baton to Lindley and Tom, who are last two here for us today. They're brand new, uh, first time here with the We Empower You community. All right. So Susie, tell us a little bit about what's uh, up, whether how we might support you in any way, shape, or form. Okay, well, um, I'm more in the beginner stages of things and recreating myself. So my business is called Empowered Self-Care, um, and I work with several different, several different tools. So if somebody has had a long-term illness and is coming back online and needing support in creating um, healthy health along with mental and emotional. Um, I have uh, a food protocol and um, I also offer a detox chair yoga class that, that offers tools for them to um, really reconnect with the body and the mind and the spirit um, and focusing inward so that they can eventually step out into the world. So that that's one level. And the other one is um, I work with frequency. And um, so this is really good for also ill people or people that want to prevent illnesses, say they're recovering from cancer or long term illnesses, and they want to stay well. Uh, the protocol also works with that. And I also work with athletes. So to prevent injuries. Um, and if they do have an injury to, to recover more quickly. So that is it in a nutshell. That's great. And, um, you've had your own share of lifelong illness type things, right? Right. Or so, and I was just going to say, and, and, I've, and I've come about this through my own personal experience and journey um, with uh, uh, cancer in 2010. Um, being really healthy going in and then having a quick recovery um, and then spending um, the rest of my journey preventing cancer. I don't wanna get it back. So what do I need to do to stay healthy so I don't get it? Um, and, and I don't use the word survivor because I lived through it. I, I did more than survive. And, um, and I'm not stuck in survival, survival mode with, with illness. And, um, in fact, I forget that I have it sometimes. I have, like, I, I forget. It's not even, it's just not part of, it's just part of me. It's not the, the biggest thing in my life. And, um, and then learning that I had Epstein-Barr and being in stage four with Epstein-Barr, which is, was very chronic and really took me out for seven years, basically. And I've been coming out and being back in remission for the last two years. And um, my goal is actually to get rid of it. So you're all long for the ride because I'm in it right now and it will be gone. And I'm going to yeah. say within the next five years. Yes. And you and Rita need to talk obviously as both cancer, not survivors, but people living. Thrivers. Thrivers. Right. Thrivers. There you Thrivers. Go. Then, uh, you know, you have that to talk about and maybe uh, Rita's the pathway to helping you out here to get to a place where 
you don't have financial cancer, you don't have any cancer at all. You just have a life, a beautiful life to live. Yeah. I found you in the Dr. Clint um, community and I was inspired by your story. I never reached out to anybody in that community on the chat and here we are. You're now also a member of the Just Say Yes program, which we launched on February 22nd at uh, 222 p.m. <laughs> so thank you for joining on the Just Say Yes program. All right, Lindley, brand new to us here. Tell us a little bit about what you do. Thank you, uh, Patina, uh, invite me. Um, so enjoy the session. And I also enjoy every person's here to sharing the passion, the transformation and the mission. I love it. I really love everyone's uh, services. So um, personally, I'm financial service professional. I and my team actually provide people from three different area. One is financial education, financial literacy. And the second, we also do financial consultation and for their financial well-being. And we are big a brokerage working with 188 providers, financial institutions to provide the best solutions for people's financial uh, life. The third thing we offer, which my passion about, is opportunity for people to step into the financial servicing industry to learn how to drive their own money, also help other. In the meantime, also can build financial service business. The reason I'm passionate about it is because years back, I was IT engineer. I was climbed the corporate ladder. I was isolated. And through my, you know, when you guys talking about uh, limitation, the bubble I created, that's why I choose intelligence world and not associate with the world outside until I reach uh, the copper ceiling and also my spiritual awakening happened and a yearning for growth and a yearning for connection to life. And at that time, I realized I need to do something differently where this business opportunity came in. And for me, it's basically for allow me to transform myself inside out to really discover what had me to isolate it. Now, through this business, I was able to really confront myself and come to the calling, which help people to be free from the mind limitation and also free from where they are. They get stuck, they're not happy, whether they are doing with their job or the business, whatever that it is, that cross you. But they are lack of guidance or lack of solution. And this one possibility as ex uh, outlet, which I took a part-time basis at the beginning, now without risk. Now through this transformation, and I become an entrepreneur and also the mission that really drew me, drove me is that constantly to be visible, to show in front of people, lead by example, that we can hide all the potential inside of us and the only we do is inner work. We unleash our human spirit to be free financially in time, but more important, free from our limitation. So this business offered that as a package, we provide education, we provide training and also mentorship, mentorship to become an entrepreneur in financial service industry. So that's what I do and passionate about. Thank you for having me. Definitely, I really enjoy this uh, community here because I think we go, all go through similar of experiences, transformation, and we arrive collectively to this community to uplifting the frequency or the consciousness, I would say, our spirit together to be better for the world. I love it. <laughs> and I think what, one of the things that you're doing that's unique is that you're helping people to have a business in the financial world, like yourself, I mean, I don't know if you use the word franchise or not, but that's the word that came to my mind. And uh, so, you know, you're looking for people that also want to build a business in the financial arena as much as you are in the spiritual space. Thank you so much for joining us here today.
last up, uh, actually second to the last up is uh, Tom, but I see Mia raising your hand. Maybe you have a question. No, she's clapping. Okay, Tom, go ahead and unmute and we'll get you on the stage here. Hi, um, I'm, my name is Tom Rohr and I'm a uh, mental performance consultant and psychotherapist. And what I work with more than anything is um, all kinds of athletes, uh, but primarily high school uh, student athletes who want to get scholarships, who want to uh, be able to play their sport at a, at a college level. That's my main specific focus at the moment. And um, I come from this because of my sports issues, anxiety and yips, and those who know, know that term. Um, I, I got the point, I, I could not double dribble when I was going down the court. And what happens when you double dribble all the time is you get taken out of the game and your career is ruined. <laughs> that's, uh, that's my motivation I mean, from that point of view. So I help people with have, uh, what's called per per pervasive performance problems. We use a process called brain spotting primarily, which is a really effective uh, psychotherapeutic technique. And if anybody's interested, you can go to my own website, just my name, tomroar.com. All right, and that's spelled R-O-H-R-E-R. -E and by the way, next up is Barbara Ozeda, who first introduced me to the association that I was mentioning earlier today, the ISVA. So welcome, Barbara, and uh, perhaps uh, after Barbara takes her turn, uh, you and Barbara can talk a little bit about the sports vision for a brief moment. Okay. Thank you. Barbara, hi, welcome. Hi, hi, sorry I'm late. So my name is Barbara Ozeda, and my company is MVP Meetings, your most valuable partner in meetings. So I'm a hotel extraordinaire. My passion is um, going to a conference at a beautiful resort or a hotel and attending all of the uh, seminars and trade shows and breakfast, lunch and receptions and dinners, and then walking away with a whole new understanding of your purpose and your life calling and um, yeah, I just love hospitality. I, I love because everybody's always dressed to their best and in their best behavior and food and and wine and cheers and and <laughs> non alcoholic. <laughs> so do and and the and the good looking bellman and everybody taking your luggage and you know your room and your in room amenities and the spa and the um, education that you get with conferences. But I know I'm I'm also uh, involved in youth sports and I have youth athletes that are D1 scholarship ready. One is um, just going into high school and one is a freshman uh, in high school, but he was MVP and he earned his letter and uh, team captain for his junior varsity team. So, and he's just a freshman. So I'm all about that, Tom. And um, been with my friend Susie, uh, she helped my athlete uh, 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 repair his uh, ankle because, you know, injuries are really what we pray uh, that uh, doesn't happen. But, um, you know, pre prepara preparation and, and, and when preparation and opportunity meets, that's the sweet spot, right? So I just want to prepare myself for my life calling. And, um, and that is uh, bringing people together and, and just uh, uh, getting the the, the, the spring back in their step by, by holistic measures, uh, food and, and, and uh, just all the um, stimuluses that we have. You had me at spa. <laughs> 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 I love your life. And for, of course, I that. have been traveling on your coattails since we ever met. And you invite me to all these uh, events. And one of the events that I got to uh, stand in for you was the uh, ISBA, the International Society of uh, Vision Sports uh, Association. Interna yes, International Sports Vision Therapy. So Bettina's yes. been my my co-pilot, you know, in this uh, in this world of uh, of work and family and crisis and pain and suffering. Sometimes you can't just show up at a hundred percent. And I'm going to get emotional. Oh, I don't know. I've had a really strong week. And um, when I couldn't show up, Bettina did. And I orchestrated it 
let me tell you this, why we're experts. I orchestrated it from my phone. She was in San Francisco. She was at the hotel. She was with all the guests. And I was in Denver suffering a, a crisis where mental health couldn't get out of bed, couldn't face the world, but I could, I could, I could channel it through Bettina and my little pretty robot lady, smart as you know, as they come, took orders, not orders, it was a direction. And um, and yeah, we had a successful event. So, you know, you need your team. You can't go it alone, right? No. You just can't go it alone. Yeah, our, our favorite uh, philosophy is when you want to go fast, go alone. When you want to go far, go together. And it is together that we will go far in our journey. So Tom, um, I was uh, talking with you earlier today about ISVA and uh, another uh, ICBO, also the, the other international vision um, uh, conference that I followed uh, Barbara all the way to Birmingham, uh, England. <laughs> And I uh, ended up traveling to Paris that, that same week. And uh, so the two of you should definitely be connecting. Uh, maybe, Tom, you have any questions that might be directly uh, related to sports vision therapy. Barbara is the gal. Oh, um, unmute. <laughs> unmute there. Oh, sorry. I guess there I'm leaving this. So nothing that I, nothing that I could uh, come up with at the moment, but I'll be in contact. Okay, fantastic. Absolutely. Well, we are just over four o'clock here, and I am aware that uh, I had promised an hour-long uh, visit here today. We've gone a little bit over that, but we used to be a, a two-hour event, and we probably are going to end up going back to two hours as the group grows in size. So keep your schedules on for us to be between 4 and 4.30. And we'll welcome you back here again uh, next week. Same time, same station, 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And uh, I look forward to seeing everyone back. Any final thoughts or final questions for anybody? Just go ahead and unmute. No questions, just thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. For those of you who likes a new format, Bettina. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you very much. I, I love it too. I, I, it's been brewing in my mind and then to finally execute it just last minute, it feels really good. All right, I'm gonna mute everybody and say goodbye to the uh, audience out there in Facebook land. So for those of you who've uh, been watching, you've been watching the We Empower You, the new program, the podcast called We, the Go to Market and also the Go to Community. These are two podcasts that we're developing for the We Empower You community. And upcoming June the 8th is the We Empower You Global Virtual Summit. It starts at 8.30 a.m., goes to 8.30 p.m. We feature really wonderful speakers, authors, coaches, mentors, thought leaders, and folks just like you've hear, heard here today and uh, we're gonna do a little live component as well. I'll keep you posted about that. And I look forward to having you all back here. Go to weempoweryourlife.com, click on the calendar tab to join this meeting every Wednesday, except for when we're doing the summit and go to the summit ticket tab to get your free ticket. You must RSVP to get your Zoom information. Bye for now, everybody. We'll see you next week. Bye, Bye Katrina.